the cool RV park, our first time here. Anybody in here know what's good to do around here? Any uh, places to go, touristy stuff? Wow, this traffic backup is ridiculous. Anybody know what's going on up there? Is there an accident or just a road blockage? So, yeah, you see. Yeah, we've been uh, heading down the road piece, you know. We've been checking out this lake over here. And, and it's a pretty groovy area to explore. We went kayaking, you know, and had a great time. It's really good hiking over here. You know? Hey, that's a cool rig you got. I was thinking about actually getting one of those. What year is it? So, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. To me, the CB radio is the most unused, valuable communication tool there is for RVers. Especially for us boondockers. We're not always going to have cell phone s signal. We're not always going to be, be able to make phone calls. Even texts could be difficult. So, if you're new to the area and you need to know what's going on or find something or anything... Get on this free communication device, CB radio, ask out there, and somebody could respond, hey, you know, give you an answer to your questions. Back in the 70s, I'm sure you old timers as I am know, these were pretty big back then. We used to camp every weekend during the high school years, and CB radios was our main communication tool, uh, especially in the um, campsite that we were in. It, it was... Uh, a trailer park in, uh, it was called Reflection Lakes, and I think it was in Equinox, Pennsylvania. And we had a uh, trailer there we kept all, all year round, and we'd go up on the weekends. Everybody communicated with CB radios. Of course, there was no cell phones back then. So I think even today, it's still a good way to communicate. If you just, you know, you have somebody following you, good way to keep in touch, especially if you get separated. You know, a lot of people use those little walkie-talkies, and that's cool up to a couple of miles or several miles, but if you're far away from each other, CB radios go much further. So you can communicate. When you arrive to an RV park, you can just ask, hey, anybody know what's good around here to do? You know, good hiking, uh, touristy places, uh, anything, you know? So, um, or if you're in an RV park, you have a mechanical issue, maybe you don't have the right tool for it or you need help with it, Get on SCB Radio, say, hey, anybody have this particular tool that I can borrow or can come over and help me do this? So if everybody has CB radios, it's a great way to communicate. Personally, I believe that all RVers should have one. All RV parks should use CBs as their main communication source, uh, especially if they want to send a message out to everybody in a park. If everybody has their CBs on and the park could just announce, hey, we have this event going on tonight or, you know, uh, come on over for breakfast in the clubhouse, uh, whatever. So, or got a dance going on tonight, anything. So anyway, um, I feel it's just a good way to communicate. When you're driving and you're switching lanes, there's a lot of truckers on the road. If they're polite, let you, you know, squeeze in front of them, whatever, you can say, hey, thanks good buddy whatever you know so uh anyway i just think it's a great way to communicate for non-cell phone signal uh you know when nothing else works just anybody that is in earshot can hear and possibly help out uh if you break down on the side of the road you say hey anybody can help me change a tire whatever you know anything so that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So to all you fellow RVers, um, enjoy your journeys, and uh, maybe we'll catch up with you someday.